In just hours, an unprecedented Democratic National Convention will begin at what will be an almost entirely virtual event. The party will officially nominate Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to lead the presidential ticket. And what people are going to see is the unity that not only cuts across our party, but their unity of values across America. The party aiming to highlight its most pressing agenda items, from fighting COVID to racial disparities. Night one kicks off with Amy Klobuchar and Gretchen Whitmer, two women once in the running to be Biden's running mate. Also speaking, former campaign rival Senator Bernie Sanders, all aiming to unify the party. We have got to do everything we can to come together to defeat Donald Trump. The night culminating with one of the party's biggest stars, former First Lady Michelle Obama. When they go low, we go high. People remember that in 2016, former mm -hmm. First Lady Michelle Obama said, when they go low, we go high. Mm -hmm. What's her message tonight? Well, I think that uh, you might hear that refrain again, uh, but with uh, some additional meaning behind it, now that we've lived three and a half years, almost four years of um, a Donald Trump presidency, Meanwhile, Senator Harris, the first black and Asian American woman to join a major party ticket, is hitting back at racist and false conspiracy theories still not dismissed by the president that she may not be eligible to run. Let's just be very candid and straightforward. They're going to engage in lies. They're going to engage in deception. All this as the latest NBC News Wall Street Journal poll shows Joe Biden leading President Trump by nine points, 50 to 41 percent. But when it comes to the economy, seen by voters as the most important issue in this election, the president holds a double digit advantage over Joe Biden, with 48 percent saying he would do a better job over Biden's 38 percent. Meanwhile, a new CNN poll shows Biden's lead shrinking to just four percent after a 14 point lead in the same poll back in in June. So how is this all going to work, technically speaking? Well, first, to the speeches. Some of them will be taped, but most of the major ones will be live, including by former President Obama, Senator Kamala Harris, and of course, Joe Biden, who delivers the keynote address on Thursday. The delegates will be stretched out all across the country, and there will be a virtual roll call. And because you aren't going to have those packed crowds and the audience here, there are going to be virtual watch parties for that real-time reaction. This is all setting the stage for a convention like we have never seen before.